Hey everyone, Super Data Brothers here. I am Eric, that other brother you've all been waiting to hear from. And today we're going to be talking about a Power BI topic. I know this is a little departure from the normal Cognos talk, but um, I think it'll be good. So today I'm gonna show you how to dynamically format um, the cells in a table column based on uh, a string. So let's say you have a column named status and there are three statuses, right? Red, there is yellow, and there is green. And each time the word red shows up, you know, you want the status to be colored red. And each time the word green, you want the status to be colored green. And each time the word yellow, you want the, you know, that cell to be col colored yellow. Um, I think I found out a way that's pretty straightforward to do it that I haven't seen anyone else do yet. So um, let's get started. I'm gonna show you how to do it. All right, so this is the Super Data Brothers HR job posting tracker sample report. Now, this is a pretty basic report you might see at any company. In this case, it's tracking uh, positions and the different information related to those positions at, uh, at Super Data Brothers. So you can tell we do a lot of water reclamation. So we have the different columns here in this table. We have position type, position status, and department. Now, what we want to do is, with this position status, we want to color each cell based on the text contents of that cell. So vacant will be one color, offer will be another color, filled will be another color, and canceled will be another color. Now there is a way you can do this in Power BI. It's, there's no direct way to do it, but with a one quick tweak, it makes it pretty easy to do and pretty easy to dynamically change the color. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So your first instinct might be to come to visualizations here. So select the, the table and then go to visualizations Then see we have position status, position status. There's this feature called conditional formatting Okay, so let's conditionally format the background color. Now, looking in here, there's a whole bunch of different things you can select on, but after poking around for a while, you'll find that there's no option to format the field based on the, based on the text. You can do it on numbers, you can do it on ranges of numbers, but you can't do it on, on text. So as an example, let's go to position status count of position status, what is this, color scale, but you can't just say like vacant is this color, that doesn't work, so color scale. Rules, greater than zero, count, we don't want count of position status, this doesn't make any sense, we can't do that. Field value, it's, it's all the same thing, none of it is based on the actual, actual text value, so. so let's go to rules. So you can see here that, you know, you can do it based on a number, we could do is zero, we could add another rule, is one, right? But this position status isn't, isn't zeros and ones. So we will be using this conditional formatting feature, but first we need to convert this position status, like so these text strings into numbers that this feature can understand. So you can do this using the data tab and creating a new column. You could use a measure too, but I think columns are easy to understand, so I'm going to use the column. So let's create a new column. There we go. Now remember, we're converting we're converting that text string into a number so that the conditional formatting feature can understand it. So let's name this uh, position status color number. Or status color num. So we're going to use a switch statement. Now, what are we gonna do the switch on? We're gonna do it on position, position status, right? And so for the, all right. So when the string vacant comes up, we want that to be a one. When the string Offer comes up, we want that to be a two. When the string filled comes up, we want that to be a three. And when the string canceled, yep. 
comes up, we want that to be a 4. Otherwise, we want that to be a 5. All right, so there we go. Let's hit Enter. Make sure it's working and makes sense. Let's see. So look here. Vacant should be 1. Vacant is 1. Let's see some other examples. See, offer should be two, offer is two. Looks like it's working. So we've just converted these text strings into numbers that the conditional formatting can understand. So let's go back to the report tab. Let's make sure our table is selected. Let's go over to the visualizations tab, values, and let's try again. Let's go to let's see, position status. Conditional formatting, background color, all right? So format by, let's create a new rule, all right? Values only, yep, that's fine, values only. We don't want to format the header. Let's do based on field, let's see, position, status, color number, right? So for summarization, you can just leave it at sum, that's fine. You could change it to average, minimum, or maximum because... It's looking at the at this this field, so this cell vacant. Like, what is the sum of this? That's you know, you add up one a bunch. You add up a single one, you get a single one. You know, you average a single one, you get a, you get a one. So let's create some new rules. So if the value is the number one, all right which is the vacant, we want that to be, let's have that be this orangey color. If the value is the number two, then let's make it uh, number two, which is the offer. Let's make that, um, let's make that, here, let's make that green. All right, if the number is three, which is filled, then we want it to be um, blue. And if the number is four, then we want it to be, number is four, then we want it to be gray. All right, so let's see if that works. There we go. Now you see here that it is the vacant orange, offer is green, filled is blue, Gray is, cancel is gray. So now, when someone looks at this, they can easily kind of see the groupings and they can see the, the, the color. Instead of just having to read the number, they can just instantly see the color. So that is how you can um, dynamically and conditionally format a, a table cell based on the string, the string contact, contents of that cell. So... There you go. That's how you do it. Um, you know, you could obviously you could do more than background color. Let's go to position status. You could do yeah, conditional formatting, font color. You could have an icon there instead if you wanted based on that string value. But there you go. That is how you conditionally format a table field to look at a string in order to change the background color of the cell. Um, Hey, this is me jumping in. Um, something I forgot to mention, um, that one of the benefits of doing it this way, because there are other ways to do it that involve uh, hard coding the hex values for these colors and putting it into a calculation. But one of the benefits of doing it this way is that, see, so let's go to position status. If you go, that it makes it easy to change the formatting without having to change any, any coding. So if you want to change the format, you can do that pretty easily. So you want this to be purple, and you want this to be coal black. There you go. You can change it pretty easy. So, you know, you send this to the user, they want to change the colors, or they add another position status, and they want a new color. You don't have to change, you don't have to manually define the colors. You can just use the color picker. So that's one of the benefits of using it this way. I'm Eric from Super Data Brothers, and thank you for watching. If you have any questions, or if you've, think I did, you know, there's a better way to do it that I just missed. Um, go ahead and leave a comment if you like the video.
go ahead and leave a like. Um, and we are releasing new content frequently about Cognos, Power BI, basically any BI tools will be expanding. Um, so go ahead and leave a like and thank you for watching and have a nice day.